So this is from a few hours of playing Deus Ex Revision. It is actually Deus Ex. They took it off the title screen for ego reasons. Uh, but it's basically the first couple of hours. Um, they promise a better visceral core experience. What they deliver is a whole bunch of extra crap and quite a bit of it actually damages the world building and core experience of the game. For starters, it's all pitch fucking black. No, seriously, watch. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've always Why do these guys have a TV that doesn't work? Who uses these laptops that are all around? Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia... Why are they wearing sunglasses? In the dark. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let Why it do we no longer have the foreshadowing of the globe, hand holding the globe and a character walking by who we'll see later? I have received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. We still got Rob Leachfield style clothing. That, that's something that got kept. Oh, there she is. Wait. Now she's just watching them like a creeper. Revision. Still not the title of the game. This title screen is cool though, I kind of like it. Heads up JC, your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Unaco personnel only, payphone. Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Paul, oh, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the coalition. We're talking through the door. I'm trapped in a door. What is this? Demon door. Is this still down here? But, you know... This this is truly the, the visceral core of Deus Ex. Swimming around and finding boxes and shit that people left. Because you're in the video game. In the rain. Because pretty much the whole game Jackie plays at night wasn't depressing enough to begin with. Kind of like in the original, those guys were just on control. Now they're standing here like on a guard. Waiting for the glory that is JC Den to turn up. Why is this barricade here? Oh man, look at this guy. This is great. <laughs> the NSF have raided the island. Shots have been fired. High drama, we've got guards outside. And this guy's sitting down having a coffee break. <laughs> I think this guy's my new role model. I mean, can you imagine the balls that it would take to be going on a terrorist raid like this, have you not go outside, guys with assault rifles, and then tell your boss, look, if the guys in the armory can take a 15 minute break to drink a can, coke and have a sandwich, while the rest of us work because they've been working for three hours or whatever. Three hours into the op, I should be allowed to sit down with a cup of coffee and chill out for 15 minutes. It's genius. It so reminds me of that character built from Office Space. If, if Sandra's going to listen to her headphones while she's, while she's falling, then I should be able to listen to the radio while I'm collating, uh -huh. so I don't see why okay. I should have to turn down the radio because yeah, all right. okay. I enjoy listening. I'm gonna dump him. It's so dark! First, I need to make sure Milton will be safe. 
take him away from the battlefield. Chill there, Milton. They come this way, I got us. Okay, time to earn your pay. <laughs> oh, Paul's going too. Gee, that guy guys are up the chain, they do not give a fuck. Sorry, Corporal Maxwell. Your sacrifice will be remembered. Or in the original, there was like a dead guy out the front to let you know that there'd been some sort of violent action involved here. Um, he had like a shitty pepper spray that was pretty much empty on him. Is that, is that Paul coming towards him? <laughs> Paul's just swagging around along. I think we've got an intruder. Come on, shoot at me. Oh no, he's running away. He's bleeding. My pacifist brother fucked him up. And then walked away. I don't get it. Hello? Hey? Hello? Sir, I'm a bit concerned about you sitting in your office alone holding a gun. Hello? Sir? Asshole, I'm talking to you. A rebreather. How convenient. A terrifying collection of combat knives next to a guy who's just sitting at his desk staring at a computer with a gun in his hand. Does he have anything on his computer? Okay, so I'm a little Free disturbed. Is under lockdown till the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Given that this guy collects knives and sits at his desk with a gun in his hand, I'm gonna go with the, uh, the murderous approach. I can't speak for command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Vanderly's right. You nano-orgs are born and bred killers. I do my best. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drills, someone might as well put this hardware to use. You are not on parade drills, buddy. You might have been on parade drills in the original when you had to, like, walk back and forward in front of the base, but sitting on your ass staring at a computer screen blankly is not a parade drill. Sheesh. He's watching the same evil TV channel that the bad guys were. He's one of the bad guys. Why does this exist? It wasn't in the original. They just built like an extra office for that guy to hide in rather than stand outside purely so his dialogue options don't make sense anymore. It's clearly great visceral experience and world building. Motorized gates that appear to be opened by sliding back and forth. I just now have this like agreement to like live and let live. What is going on? These boxes that used to be like cover seem kind of redundant now. Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Everything's so dark. That you can't see in front of you anyway. Like. Why would you need the cover? Oh, standing out in the open, like an asshole. He's coming right at me! Okay, fine, don't attack me then. Flamethrower here. Seriously, why is there a guy with a flamethrower? 
How is he Ukraine in visceral edition? Well built. <laughs> oh, it looks so funny watching him walk over the flagpole like that. In the original, this Ben shaft was actually kind of special because it was. There's <laughs> just slivers of light from nowhere that let me. Sometimes I can see my gun and sometimes I can't. I don't understand it. Neither should you try to. But yeah, it was one of the few places where it was like pitch dark, so it was actually kind of noteworthy. Oh, intimidating. Now it's just like the rest of the game. Fuck, that room looks bright now. Got I'm kind of curious now. If I let Herman out, will he kill the guy with the flamethrower for me? Oh my god. It's the TVs again. And the evil channel. He just walks through the alarm. And no one gives a fuck? What? Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us. This cell actually looks kind of nice in this Risk compared to everything I outside. It actually looks kind of Agent Navarra standard. And I were ready to go in, but for no reasons, I said pull back. Like, I do there's not still no it. reason for this shitty room to be inside the, the Statue of Liberty, but it looks nicer than it did in comparison before, when everything was well lit and clean and nice. And you and that both their fucking lawns. As you wish. Take my pistol. That will be adequate. I will secure this level. You proceed up the stairs to the command center at the top. Don't tell me what to do. Hunter, did you kill these guys for me? I disappoint. There's Gunther. Walking around like an asshole. Just completely ignore these two guys out here. <laughs> Save me, Batman! I will clean out the lower level. <laughs> so dark, I can't see him, but I can still do an A. I'm pretty sure this flag never used to be here, which kind of makes sense. It seems sort of disrespectful to keep a flag outside where you keep the garbage. Uh, also, like, the way this is set up right now, if you were, if we were going off the, the idea that the flag is there for people to like, you know, swear their allegiance to the United States of America, to, to be facing the flag, you'd be facing away from the Statue of Liberty. It's like strategically placed across the grass, or is it just no one mows the fucking lawn? Okay, I was hoping you had shit, you don't. Somehow this just feels stupider having all these I'll garbage just to park benches to pass rather than just stalking this guy in the open area. Seriously, what is the attraction? Hmm. Oh. Go buddy, be a hero. Why are you shooting at me? <laughs> the mech started shooting at him so he just started shooting. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, that was a bad fight for Big Buddy. Okay. He picked a fight with the mech and lost. It's bound to happen. Ken, what is the point of all this cover? No one can see you anyway. I love how clearly there's nothing in this particular empty area that was added because this thing would have just torn it to shreds. Wow, these look familiar. These look just like some gates earlier. Only those gates operated from going left to right. 
How would these get through? What the? F no guys. There's a collection of crates here. It's just here, so it takes you longer to get to this crate. That is what we know. It's a dick move. No, don't go that way. Do you not go that way? It'll kill you. Okay. I'm not that high level. Well, the more elite. If there was something I was going to fix to make these the games more visceral and believable, it'd be the costumes the on the female garrisons. That's. That actually blew the thing off. But even if it didn't, I've got this <laughs> rebreather thing here. It seems to exist only so that you don't have to spend points on swimming. I remember flares never used to work out the water, but they do in this because, again, we want to be able to resist this convenient. One of the things that I noticed like a lot about this part of the mod, the Liberty Island mission, is they've sort of tried to experiment with things and then when it hasn't worked they've tried to make it work by experimenting with other stuff and it's created this sort of cascade of disaster which leads to this self-contradictory design. You've got all these extra set pieces like bits of grass and that that you can't see because it's pitch black dark. Um, in order to compensate for the fact that the unalerted guards now can't see shit, they put them in clusters. So you've got this weird situation where they won't notice you normally, but once they notice you, they can see straight through the dark and you're at a massive disadvantage because obviously you can't see in the dark and they'll just come right at you. It sort of pads out the level in a way that changes the core gameplay and encourages you to look for ways to break the system like I'm about to here with getting a mech to kill these guys for me because I don't want to have the body count on my hands but I also don't want to deal with the fuckery of going over shooting them with tranks then playing hide and seek behind cover until they pass out so yeah, it's it's sort of why it's a bad idea to spend eight years making a mod and just commit to everything without like doing a few experimental ones, like checking out quit mod to see how does the game play when it's dark versus normal. It, instead, they've just decided that every decision is the right decision, and this is what we get. darkness. So glad they kept this puzzle because, you know, this pointless game mechanics puzzle is really what added to the visceral content of the game. It couldn't have been, like, changed from brooding level design or anything. It's so dark now that you actually use the goggles in your eyes to check every time you saw somewhere where there might be something stashed. You run out of bioelectric energy in like 30 seconds in. <laughs> I love this! It's like... It's a sniper! 
proper diorama. He's actually put himself in a position where he's lit up. You can't possibly not see him. And he can't see shit. <laughs> Sniper of the year. He's built himself like a little display diorama there. Hey! He has a name! It's Jack! Hey. <gasps> Jack. Are you Big Boss? Or a Big Boss clone? Or a descendant of Big Boss? Is that why you needed your own diorama and your lighting and stuff? I love that on this side we've got these wonderfully manicured shaped bushes for people to look at from these park benches that are surrounded by weeds and garbage. Probably human feces as well. It's great. It really sets the tone well and builds so much on the world. Makes everything very visceral. Paul, Paul, pay attention. That's Milton. He's my role model. That guy you're standing on, he's Jack. I don't know why he's got a name, but he does. So we need to take care of him, okay? These are important POWs. Welcome aboard, Agent. Like how Collins just doesn't notice that his body's been killed. Why is everything so fucking dark? These guys are here. These two guys are just standing here, staring at each other. a little cubby house that they built. <laughs> they raided the island an hour ago and they spent all that time building this cubby house so they can stand looking at, into each other's eyes over a fire in a barrel. Oh, man, that's so romantic. Who knew the NSF was such, you know, deep feeling, loving, romantic people? I also like these two because these two are the only guys who apparently worked out that it's raining. Nobody else in this mod seems to have noticed the rain and just like wanders around in it. Like there's nothing going on. People, I put them there. They're holding hands because those two are in love, okay? Paul, you gotta protect them, okay? I'm serious. Look, holding hands, in love, protect them. Okay, now I should probably get back to you. Asking for trouble. Why would you have that there? <gasps> Why does the glass only have a shatter pane on one side? What was the point in covering this thing in glass and then making it glow green? Is there just not enough green in this room? Get it. Why is there a box with so much soy food? And why is it kept in the stairway of the Statue of Liberty? Is this a dystopian future where people starve to death on Statue of Liberty tours? Is it? Let's get out of here. I'm standing my ground. Someone tripped the alarm downstairs. They're closing in. This is it, Private. What good are we to the NSF if we end up dead? Do not go breach the perimeter. Then it's already too late. We're ready to fight. <laughs> Get ready to fight by staring at this burning barrel.
want you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Oh, and this area out here is all open now. So you can go outside and enjoy the view. In the rain. Oh, everything you've already seen up close. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. So hey, do you guys like how green it is? Don't worry about the bodies. We'll handle the cleanup. Way to go, sir. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Ah, uh, you go to HQ. All in trophies. JC. Mind if I call you JC? Well, you're a JC too, but, you know, I guess so. I heard there was a lot of fighting topside. Before the briefing, you've got to go to level 3 for your equipment and a medical examination. See Jaime Reyes in the med center and Sam Carter in the armory. <laughs> There's a retinal scanner on the inside as well. Wouldn't want anyone getting out without authorization. <laughs> what do you do? There's no computer in here. There's no files, papers, boxes, anything. We've just got a desk. And you just sit here all day. Could at least have given you a cup of coffee. Milton got a cup of coffee. Why hasn't this guy gotten a cup of coffee? Why is there a ladder in Unaco HQ? I don't understand. What is all this wasted area here? Why does... <sighs> Unaco HQ used to look like a really shitty government office where everyone... Like, all the money was spent on the front and then everyone just had to make do. Now we got these freaking couches everywhere. Reflective floors on people's offices. This guy just sits here. Oh, this guy's got coffee and a bowling trophy. Clearly, he's a he's a higher-ranking unit goon. Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. Chris Wallace, mark that name down. He's going places. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh, Denton? Why does Mandalay have all these UNATCO seals? Why do I keep seeing that painting everywhere? Why is there a brochure on He's planning waiting, a JC. visit to Liberty Island next to Janus? Does Janus go touring the island? You found your office. Did Janus give you your login? Yes, I see here that she did. Got an evil TV. Got leather chairs. Got re polished reflective surface floors. What do I need these for? Apparently, I really like that UNATCO seal as well. I just got here. Why do I have a pile of books? Sniper rifle. EMP grenade, gas grenade. My office seems pretty over-equipped. Let's get an insight into who Anna Navarro is. Is this an actual NSF guy? Like, did she literally murder an NSF guy and then set him up here and throw knives into him to make him look like a novelty knife holder block? Does she taxidermy people? How do people... Why is this allowed in UNACO? I would file a hostile, you know, work environment complaint. Would not feel comfortable working with her. Taking her ammo. This is she got phone. Answering machine. 
that crest. An important diagram on the human eye. Specs on how a machine gun works. A whole cabinet full of goodies that I can't touch because because of infinite locking. Why does Anna Navarra have a box like this? She, she likes reading about mass graves. She throws knives into taxidermic corpses. Okay, let's 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 just leave that for now. Okay, so this is Gunther's office, computer terminal, test lamp, mobile phone, answering machine. Holy shit! I thought Gunther was from Germany, not from Texas. What the fuck? Why does he have this in? How did he get this in here? What? Yeah, I can see also. An unbeatable safe? Why does Gunther get an unbeatable safe? I don't. Bowling trophies and vases. Okay. Okay, really. Who does the psyche valves around here? These two are clearly unhinged. They need help. Have to be given more guns. A bit nervous about meeting Anna Navarra, given that she apparently skins people for fun. So let's let's just break the ice by playing a little prank on her. Of course, you keep sniper rifle in the janitor. Why is this here? Why the thing? I wonder why windows were science fiction. There's MIBs living in our basement in this restricted area. That's blatantly labeled restricted area for anyone who enters the med bay. What? Hey, JC. Don't mind me, Jaime, I'm just going to steal the med bay, because I can. Let's check out the computer ops. You're getting warm. What the? This is supposed to be the future. Why does everything look like bad 19... like 50s sci-fi? Why is there a map of the obstacle course? Some poor bastard stuck in it who just walks back and forward. Why are all these machines sitting on a tent? Why do we have the evil TV channel? Oh, we've still got this. Now there's invincible circuit breakers here. More invincible circuit breakers. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Well, this is... This bit here is kind of nice. I like this. It makes him look like the Overlord who's watching everything. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. Except for this one, which booting up Linux. This one looks like it's crashed. It'll be interesting to see how the transmission sounds in Manhattan. Aerial fighters. 
the moon I I next you to your America. Jukebox. We'll have to try that. Is this, is this the inside of the Death Star? And of course the secret password. It'll be interesting to see how the transmission sounds in Manhattan. So, the server's in here. What's in here? Wait, I first heard I got a lock. Rob your security room. Quartermaster, quartermaster. Let's make sure we've got a few gaps in our inventory first. So awkward when a quartermaster tries to give you crap and then you can't. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Kaplan, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armory. Someone at UNACO's a thief? Rob your security room. Don't mind me, Jaime, I'm just gonna steal. Yes, sir. And a damn good one. If this is top secret, should we not be keeping it on the wall next to the hole? If you see it, this code letter is malware. If you see it, call Alex. Um, yeah, okay, just memorize all that. Sexy Statue of Liberty. Um, totally workplace appropriate. Camouflage comparisons. Science papers. Photo of the Search of Liberty before she got blown up. Oh, what's this? Locked, 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 locked. Between this and the uncrackable fuse boxes, if I was a new player learning how to play this game, I would fucking hate these guys because I would just be learning that don't even bother trying to open stuff. Example. Is this seats? What's everyone come to see? Oh, it's an interrogation room with a cattle prod and a spare charger. And they make the guy sit over there just out of the security cam view. Given that this guy collects knives and sits at his desk with a gun in his hand, I'm gonna go with the uh, the murderous approach. I can't speak for command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Handedly's right. You nanoogs are born and bred killers. They raided the island an hour ago and they spent all that time building this cubby house so they can stand looking into each other's eyes over a fire in a barrel. She likes reading about mass graves. She throws knives into taxidermic corpses. I thought, God, that was from Germany, not from Texas. Are we the baddies? <laughs> okay. So much for a slow build-up of corruption in UNACO. We got prison cells. Now made out of corrugated iron for some reason. Gunther should have followed orders. But wait a minute, if this is the prison, so we drag guys either through the interrogation room or past the interrogation room to get them to the prison cells. 
through the storage room where we keep stuff so valuable that you need a handprint scanner to, to access, apparently. Past all our top secret info, including our map of stuff in the world. And over our nice shiny mirror floors. I don't I don't get it. Wow, this is new. What what could be behind this? Um Wow, it looks so super exciting. Um, um ten digit? Oh well. Okay, um, this may take a while. What? Fine. We could have done this the easy way. Wait, why does Paul have cardboard boxes? He's been here for ages. Who's this guy that looks like a white version of Paul? What? He has a Apparently in 2052, telephones and answering machines are going to make a huge comeback. Nobody thought maybe, hey, that could be a thing that we could just, you know, not include. Because they don't exist anymore and the guys back in 2000 didn't know that they were going to go out of style because mobile phones were going to become so super powerful so fast. Paul seems to be a bit of a boyer. Can't see this window and watches people. Do they just have him out here because he's a bit of a weirdo and they don't like him? It's the same hard hitting news we get today. The bathrooms are still designed so that you have to be an asshole when you open the door and trap someone in a cubicle. <gasps> oh, the visceral experience. Cheaper couches in the break room. Why do we have the nice leather couches out in the corridors and this area looks all cheap and shit? Means that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. He's gonna be so surprised when she gets back to her office. What is this? People just... People in that kind of just throw their pots and pans in the sink. Don't do the washing up. 
Why do we have a map of the world in our break room? <laughs> oh, that is gonna be so pissed. Anna? Holy crap! Mandedly got a bit of a kick. What the hell? And then on. Flowers, book, a whole cabinet full of those little mini plasma pistols. A decorative stand just to hold another cop. Wait a minute. Why does he have a copy of that newspaper there? And one on his ornate newspaper holder thing. Why does he have a bowling trophy there? Why does he have a plant there? Why does he need two maps? On vases, bowling trophies. Books. Flagpole. Manly, can I have a flagpole for my office? Yes? No? Yes? Okay. That will be JC's job. What the hell? What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant. And Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. Plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. So, wait. Hmm. Hey, Mandalay, Mandalay, look at me. I'm a hologram call for you. Mandalay. Mandalay. Now, in the original, Mandalay had a private bathroom. And it was like the only thing that made his office more luxurious and awesome than everyone else's. My own bathroom! Look at all this. Eh. Move I bet out, he's got like a giant TV in there. Video game console. Dead. It's gonna be awesome. Move out, soldier. Nope, it's it's the same crappy bathroom. With that candy bar to eat while he takes a shit. Move out, soldier. Uh. I don't wanna be mean, but Woman has profound issues. Hell of a long shift. There. Okay, you guys, I'm hoping you're going to be okay. I've asked them to be nice to you and not to abuse you too much. Jack, fuck you. Milton, 
You're my role model. You're my idol. You're my guide to life.